Stuart, conditions probably playing a part today, but how did you see that game? Uh, listen, it was a it was a challenge in the first half, Scott. There wasn't a great deal of quality. Um, we struggled to to kind of get the game to settle. Um, when you've got a win like that and conditions like that, especially when we had the wind in the first half, you feel like the ball's running away from you all the time. You know, you feel as if it's forever out of play. It's, it becomes hard for your passes on the part to find quality passes because again, the you know the wind gets behind the ball and starts to carry it out the pitch. Um, but I thought the second half was a different story. Um, I thought the second half was a different story. I thought again, our organisation was was super. First and foremost, you're delighted with a clean sheet when you come to a place like this where they're such a tough opponent and they've got such a good home record over the last couple of seasons. Um, and I think that my, my, ov my overriding kind of frustration quite clearly lies with I think we, sh we, we should have been the team that won the game with the quality chances we get. You know, Blair Spittle, Calm Slattery, uh, Mika Bireth. Um, Theo Bear towards the end of the game there when he comes on and a free header for Georgie Gent inside their, their penalty area um, you're imagining with the quality that we've got behind those chances that at some point the ball's going to hit the back of the net so that's a frustration the players themselves are disappointed that they, they don't convert, convert those opportunities um, and, 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 and of course from my side of things you know you stand here and, you, and you, you make your case for what sort of result you believe you should get well when you've got those types of chances away from home you generally should win the game I think we frustration I've got Scott it's probably the, what, what, the, the the kind of penalty instant with Callum Slattery or what I thought was a penalty I thought that the, the easy call for the referee and the, the least controversial call for the referee to give at that point where a player bearing straight down on the goalkeeper looks for all the world as if he's going to stab it in the goal the easy decision with the contact with goal gets just to give the penalty um, and from that side again it goes back to reflecting on if the referee gives that penalty I don't believe VAR will turn, uh, overturn it it's not a clear and obvious error in any way shape or form um, so that's the frustration Gogic at the time is, is the last defender um, so you know there's there, there's umpteen sort of scenarios that come with that um, one of which is that we get a penalty similar to what they did um, and then hopefully you look to try and convert it so, um, you know, it sounds as if I'm making that as an excuse. I'm not. I think we had good enough chances out with that. Um, but I would like those sort of decisions to start kind of turning their favour because they don't feel as if they are at this minute in time. You've been speaking the last couple of weeks about us having to cut out silly errors at the back and conceding sloppy goals. A clean sheet today here at St Mirren. A penalty save from Liam Kelly. How encouraging is that that the players are seem to be taking on that feedback from yourself? No, it's massive. I, I thought defensively throughout today we were we were excellent. There's one moment I, in, in my opinion where we switch off, um, which leads to the penalty. Um, I think we should be better organised. I think we should uh, it should be an interception for, for from our side of things. Stephen O'Donnell then finds himself coming racing across the pitch to try and cover, and we should never have been in that spot to be honest with you. Um, I don't know. They talk about it coming off his hand, which potentially it does. But if you talk about an natural position when you're sliding I'd love somebody to tell me that you can slide with your, hand, uh, with your arms by your side but anyhow that's another point in itself um, but that was the one moment Scott I felt that we switched off but you know what I think that the players themselves the defensive unit clicked back into gear after that Liam Kelly uh, their mate um, manages to get them uh, keep them level in the game he makes a, an excellent save and we react really well around about the penalty as well it has to be said um, but you know Liam was up for criticism last week and he was the he was the kind of fall guy with many last week but he comes up with yet another penalty save and I thought he was sound throughout today um, in the game so delighted for him delighted for the, the guys at the back who undoubtedly get the criticism when we're, when we're conceding goals uh, so I'm delighted with that clean sheet the next bit for us is just to make sure we're that little bit more clinical at the top end of the pitch It's now three draws in our last four how close do you think this team is to just turning this run of form round? Based on that today, I think we're incredibly close. If we if we can reach the levels that we did, especially away from home, um, and kind of finding that formula, um, if we produce that again against a lot of teams and, uh, and and create that kind of level of chances, then I believe that it brings us three points. I undoubtedly do. Um, the questions that I've had to field of late, of course, always come down to um, you know the, the run quite clearly that they're on, and I acknowledge that and I put my hands up to that. Um, but sometimes you you, you, you once or twice you get questioned on whether the players are, are giving their all or are they, are they doing their bit for the football club today for me uh, throughout that 90 minutes was another example that these players are 100% behind being at this football club and trying to trying to be successful and see if we can get on yet another run that we've felt and we've experienced before and we've enjoyed um, but I think that we're uh, as close as they could be to getting back to those levels today Thanks for your time Stuart Thank you